big chunk of story we want to tackle this morning. Um, but, anyway, but anyway, let's start somewhere else. Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to you too. And, and it's a great, I mean, it's a beautiful day. I don't know, it was a few weeks ago now that we had Mother's Day, and it was sort of awkward doing Mother's Day sermon as a, as a male, but I found writing a Father's Day sermon to be a lot more work. Um, it was hard this week, and I, as I was thinking about why it was hard, it just feels like a tough time to be a dad. Um, so many of us here grew up in a different system. We grew up in a system that at least somewhat resembled this system, right? So the man was the head of the household, he was the patriarch, and he had the authority, right? So nobody asks for Rebecca's blessing, right? You want Isaac's blessing. And so the idea was as a kid, you know, growing up, I, I sort of had the impression was not told directly, but you know, sort of everybody knew that we had to put up with some stuff from our dads, but you know, ultimately we would be rewarded by the system because we would become heads of our own household and you know, ruler of our tiny little kingdoms. And so all of this had this reward for us. <laughs> and exactly. And now we get there. And it didn't happen, right? And somehow that little kingdom that I was supposed to inherit just didn't happen for me. I mean, I do have a wife and two children, and you know, many of the uh, of the parts of that dream. Um, but you know, as a, as a man, we look around and we go, yeah, but you know, like. My wife earns more money than I do. How does that work? A lot more money than I do. How does that work? Um, and my kids go, yeah, Dad, he's got some opinions. That's really interesting, Dad. Um, and you know, like there's, there's women who are in authority, and there's like brown people who are in authority, and there's gay people who think they have the right to speak. And, and, you know, it's just like, all of this stuff just didn't work. So, right, we had Psalm 23 we read, and that was supposed to be the system, right? The Lord is my shepherd, and, like, I'm sort of the younger shepherd, and I got my own sheep, and I get to bless my flock and give them these things, and, and it just didn't happen. And I wasn't sure how to, how to approach this biblically. Because the problem with the Bible, I mean, like, so, right, you know, I, I love this book. I've dedicated, like, the last, Lord knows how many years to studying this book and to teaching this book. But finding a positive father story in this book is beastly hard. Right? There's lots of, so I thought what we do is just find a dysfunctional family story, which is, let's face it, most of them. And let's just be honest, this is a dysfunctional family story. Right? And, and let's, let's just look at that system as a system right, and say, like, does it have anything to teach us here? So that's what we're doing this morning. And I don't know exactly how this is going to go. So this is the system, right? That Isaac has the authority as the great patriarch and he is going to bless one of his sons. And his word matters. His word means something. He assumes, and everybody around him assumes, that what he says is going to happen. But, right? But only him. Right? Rebecca doesn't have a blessing, because, you know, women, right? And, <laughs> and the servants, they can't do this, right? There's lots of other men in this whole system. Um, but he is the patriarch. Right? But, you know, and then, of course, we see the role of women in the system, right? That Rebecca only has power when she overhears something and does something underhanded. And ultimately, she can get blamed for all of this because Isaac only, or Jacob only does this because his mom told him to. It wasn't his fault, he didn't really want to. Right? Only, you know, twice she says, just obey me and we'll make this right. And that's her, but that's her only access to power, is backhanded and, and through, through tough channels. 
So, right? Only obey my word. That's what Rebecca says twice. So here we are in the 21st century in a system that doesn't work anymore. That is broken. Um, or is being fixed. Because right? it was. It was broken and dysfunctional right from the beginning. <coughs> so that's where we're starting this morning. <laughs>